What's up everyone? Daddy Robux here. And today we are continuing our playthrough of the Curse of Strahd. Uh, Dawn says that we're gonna finally reach the Amber Temple today. So I don't know. We'll we'll see, I guess. Uh here you go, Don. Take it away. Okay, so <laughs> last week you fought. Baba Yaga. I don't even remember what you fought last week. I was about my back when memory's gone. Oh yeah, Baba Yaga. Last week you fought Baba Yaga on your way to the Amber Temple. Uh, religious sort of site for those in Barovia. Where you would find your enemy from all the way back from the town of Falaki, Isaac. But first you need to find Isaac. And there's an entire temple to explore. So... Are we there yet? You are stood in front of the Amber Temple. You've walked for hours on the road getting to this point. You see this <clears throat> large 20 foot archway with a staircase leading down. Hmm. I don't trust it. Yeah, it seems kind of shady. Let's turn around. Perhaps we should take a brief moment to sit down and collect our bearings as she's shrugging on her new robes. That would be a terrible idea. Do we have the magic hut still? Uh, who was the magic hunter? Let me check. <clears throat> Uh, I I think we I might. Just... Do you have a spell slot for magic hut? Magic hut. It's also a ritual spell. It's also True. a ritual it is. spell. I it, yeah. If if it's a ritual, then yeah. And I do have an open slot for it. So yeah. Regardless, either way, I can do it. Don, are we allowed to have a long rest inside the hut? Uh, Oh, I just meant a short rest. Why would we use a tiny hut for a short? I don't know. People were talking about the tiny hut, so I was like, sure. Anyone else alarmed that she hasn't answered yet? You can take a long rest if you want to. Yay! All right, cool. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to make you roll perception if you watch. Fucking that nice. Doesn't mean you're being nice. That could just mean we auto fail. <laughs> well, it's not like anything could get us, anyways. Now there are three well, Baba Yakas uh, in the Amber Temple. Yes. Uh, the tiny hut fades, and, and you see there are. Three Baba Yagas that were previously invisible, waiting in ambush. Guess, <laughs> Guess I'll die. Also, Tiamat's here for some reason. Seems like a normal Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So you wake up, the snow's still there. You see this sort of circle where the hut was uh, in the ground now. As snow has fallen on it in the night. I'll we'll kind of walk up to Nora and give her a pu gentle push. So, um, lead the way. 
Ah, oh, no problem, Stony. I'd like to take a look at these statues anyways. Perhaps they are dedicated to the ancestors of this place. Right behind you. As we get closer, um, what are these statues in the alcoves here? Uh, yeah, the statues, uh, faceless hooded figures, hands pressed together in a gesture of prayer. Can I acknowledge religion this? Religion check. Religion check. Yeah, I got one. While, uh, while Gretel is examining the statues, I'm going to crouch next to the, the entranceway and kind of, you know, look the the threshold up and down. Uh, and if... Gretel, you search your mind for, you know, any sort of recollection of hooded figures in prayer in a land you don't know with similar but not exactly the same religions. There's a lot it could be. You're not really sure at this point. Hey, it's, uh, they're, they're kind of religious. Uh, you, you, do, you do realize that anything as the hood and a sort of faceless figure, they're generally not very welcoming groups. They like secrets. It's a fat guess. Yeah, I'll relay that. This place is not going to be fun for us. Depends on your definition of fun. Stony, do you see anything in the entrance right here? I don't know. Do I see anything in the entrance after uh, investigating it thoroughly? Uh... You do not. I just the icy steps descending into this ravaged hallway. Um, other than the ice on those steps, looks like it's safe. For you, Nora. I I will uh, cautiously step on the ice icy stairs as to not slip. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We have we have lost the well on Kip Yap. Oh no. You think they died? Yeah. Uh, I walked in and I asked, what's that? So we can see it through the window. That is a skeleton. So I thought we were waiting for someone to rejoin. Uh, that is a skeleton wearing blue wizard wizard's robes and clutching a wand to its chest. Hmm. Uh, 
so I'm looking through this hole, right? Mm -hmm. And just kind of scooting around, trying to peer in through this window and the next one. Um, I don't see a door. You no, don't. No, I do not. Uh, so you see, you um, see the arrow slits carved into the wall. You don't see the door. So I will point this out. This anomaly. Um, there's a dead guy in there, and it looks like he's holding something useful. But, um, I don't. I don't see how to get in there. Hmm. Well, I think a number of us could probably just. Zip in, grab it, and zip back out. It's a arrow slit. We can't fit. Oh, no, uh, I'm I sorry. Like Missy stuff. Exactly. What do you want to do? Um... I don't have anything that I personally could do. I don't know. Um, can anybody like, like polymorph themselves or, or like, um, I've seen someone like turn into mist before. That was interesting. That's literally what we just offered two of us. Yes. There, yeah, there you go. Or that. Yes. Who wants it? Who wants it? I'll, I'll take it. Make it easy. You now get a gaseous form. Cass will slap you on the back and give you turn you into gas. Sweet. Concentrate. Floaty on in. Yep. Well, wait a minute. And you want to you want a gaseous form into this room? But then. He, he would need to be not gaseous form in order to pick up the, the thing. Yep. And then we're going to cast another spell on him? No, I'm going to cast it. Uh, all right. So, grab robes and wand, question mark? Yep. Yeah. Uh... Gregor, you pick up the wand, it buzzes with that, uh, you know, magical sense. Nah, the wand is magical. Yeah. And then, uh, I will turn around and Misty step out. Okay. I assume, Gretel, that you, uh, Said a prayer for the fallen, our fallen friend there, so as not to uh, leave them in a you know without proper rest. Well, of course, I did. Yeah, totally. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, with the shinies in hand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're going to do a quick identify. By quick, I mean ritual cast. <laughs> it's a wonder secrets. Ah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm liking this place already. What is a one? Oh. In the hand down. <laughs> well, I was just, I, yeah, I've never seen one before. I got it though. All right. Secret door or trap within 30 feet. It pulses and points at the one nearest to you. Ba -ba -da -da. So are you going to do it here? Uh, so Gretel's holding it. Gretel, are you going to do it here? Yeah. All right, now let's see which secret's the closest to Gretel. Uh, it vibrates and points you here. 
hey, there's something there. And I pointed where the stick is pointing. Yeah. Does it? So uh, I'm going to investigate the wall where it's pointing. Yeah, make a perception check. Guidance. Perception? I even said... Or investigation. Oh, uh, yeah, I said the word. <laughs> Go on, man. Oh. Thank you. Hey, look, it's a secret door. And there's abs there's absolutely nothing in this room. Wait a minute. Why would they put a secret door into Let me check the walls and the floor? It's gotta be something. Are you gonna uh, keep searching? Yeah. Make up an investigation check. I was waiting for the guidance if it didn't come. Sorry, I, yeah, I was, well, I would have. Find anything? Uh, 13, no. It just seems like an empty room. Vicious. You want to find a genius yourself? I don't. I don't know. No, I like to save those for saving throws. So I, I guess I'll shrug and go back out in the hallway. Yes, we should keep moving. I, I guess so. All right, Nora. A 20 foot wide balcony of black marble with a shattered railing overlooks a vast temple. Black marble staircases at each end of the balcony descend 30 feet to the temple floor. The vaulted ceiling is 30 feet above the balcony you're standing on, and the walls and ceiling are covered in an amber glaze, lending the room a golden sheen. A set of amber doors set stands closed at the west end of the balcony and a similar pair stands open to the east as you look across the floor you see this statue ahead of you uh, standing between two black marble balconies uh, one of which is partially collapsed and fallen onto the black marble floor this statue is a uh, 40 foot tall, a cowled figure, glowing in flowing robes. The statue's stony hands outstretched as if in the midst of casting a spell, but its face is a void of utter blackness. And I'm going to need you all to roll initiative. Gretel didn't select his token first. I did not. I was clicked off the screen. Gretel still has oh, not shut off. Dexterity tiebreakers! I mean, to be fair, d and didn't shut that off. It's not. It's... No. Oh, see? Nora, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. All right. No bot. Did you roll a nine with advantage? <laughs> two sevens. That's a tough break. <laughs> Not playing nice tonight. Whoa! Thanks, As coming from the pitch black of this statue's mouth comes a streak of fire that blows up in front of you all. 
All right. Uh, Dex save, you said? Dex save, I said? Yeah. Oh, God. Hold on. Nope. I can't even flash myself. I still lose. But, uh, I can. What is it? I'll activate my deepening shield. <laughs> I am trusting you all to do your own damage since you've all played D&D before. Played what? Dungeons and Dragons. What's that? How do you math? I thought this was Pathfinder. Yeah, I thought we were playing uh, Call of Cthulhu. What is this? Sometimes I feel bad about what they have to do to you, like guys. But then you push stuff like this, and then I don't feel bad. I want you to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you already rolled the damage. It was 21. So I am yeah. resistant because of absorb elements. Mm -hmm. A cool 10. Oh, Did anybody besides me not pass? No, everybody else rolled above. Cool. Uh, stony. Oh no, it's broken. Uh, I guess I'll take my turn first. So I, um, we're, we're on this landing, right on the balcony overlooking the statue. Um, yeah. Well, the statue's about your height. So, so, okay. So it's like, well, that 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 was my question. Is um, the stairs show thirty feet from top to bottom? Is that would that be accurate? It's a thirty foot uh, drop. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I were okay, hypothetically, if Stony were to go to this balcony and jump over it, how far is Stony going to fall? Why are we? I'm throwing the measurements for you. I don't need the the measurements. Look, it's yeah, it's the oh, yeah. You could have just said that. <laughs> you by like drawing. All right. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Tony ain't afraid. We will be jumping over the balcony. So it's at nine. It's 3d6. 10 feet to move. No. no. I was going to do that. <laughs> oh, right. You have that. It's okay. I'll let you do it's it. Keep uh, well, no. Actually, you yeah, you already did it. And then you'll get your reaction back next turn. That's better. Uh, and then I guess we'll move there. It's me. 70 feet away. Now, the, mm -hmm. is, is the temple, uh, like, in ruins? Like, I'm, I'm going to assume there's, like, rocks and, and debris, bits of statue, anything lying on the ground? Yeah. All right. Well, then we're going to... Uh, we're, we're going to use our handy-dandy rocket launcher to pick up one of those stones and hurl it towards the statue. Alright, I'm going to say that's going to target the boy inside. So he's going to make a deck set. Wait, did you say the boy inside? That is what she said. So now there's... Okay. Uh, he passes. It takes no damage. Yeah, it's save or suck. Yeah. Alright, I guess that's gonna be it for me. That's very 
Illuminating. Okay. Uh, Katia. Okay. Uh, we are going to start running down these steps. We'll go ahead and bonus action to Misty Step over that way. And as our action, we will go ahead and activate that nice necrotic shroud, because why not? Okay. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Nora will rage. Yep. Uh, d upset that the the decor is attacking her. Um, yeah, she's just gonna move forward uh, right off the ledge here. And and drop down. Uh, as part of the the rage, using instinctive pounce. Still roll the damage, right? Yeah, I just take half of it because of the rage. Technically, it's not a weapon. To, no. Oh, really? There's some. There's an argument out there. Yeah. All right, I'll take I've this. Seen it about killing the lichen throws with the uh, fall damage. Yeah, because it's not a weapon attack, so you technically don't resist it. But I say that's stupid because I'm a, I play I like barbarians, and so you resist it. Oh, awesome. Uh, all right, then I will uh, dash uh, towards the statue and actually pull out my maul. Because uh, that makes logical sense to her, you know, it's a, it's a statue. So, uh, but that'll be my turn. Yes. Oh, it's like, don't, 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 don't touch the button. Cass. Cass is just um, running to follow Katya. <laughs> And is going to. This isn't. Yeah, no, I'm just going to dash to follow Cattail, and that's everything I got. Gretel, you're up. All right, so we'll move up here, do the fall thing. Actually, wait, before I fall, sorry, while I get to sleep, everybody, I will cast Spirit Guardians, and then I'll do the fall thing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And then move the extra right there, and end of turn. Scissor. Okay. I'm coming, guys. <laughs> Uh, I'll give, I'll give Stoney a, a Bardic Inspiration. And, uh, I'm not, I'm too far from that statue, so that's going to be my turn. Okay. Oh, let me just do, there we go. Okay, so you guys are all sort of just sort of crowding around. I don't like that. Uh, you didn't say it, you don't get it. Uh, and then 50 feet. And then... 30p of the first target. Yeah, that works. Uh, Cass, Catiel, Stony, Gretel. Kaboom. Oof. Well, that seems unnecessary. And it's going to hit Stony and arc out to the rest of you. Um, dang, I'm 65 feet away. Yeah, 
Is he 70? Oh my god, what is this? I'll use my reaction to once again do a uh, absorb elements. Alright. Three absorb elements. I'll just take 11 and I'm in the Oh, you're already resistant. Oh, no. Storm Sorcerer. Oh, no. Uh, cat? Ooh, okay, well, you absorbed. Never mind. Stone it. What? It's you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to find and take my damage. <laughs> Not okay. All right. Um, gonna move forward our thirty feet, and at this point, um, they would be within my range of vision. Right? And I know you said that there was a like a mouth. Of the statue is where everything was coming from. Can I? Yeah, with magical darkness in that mouth. Magical darkness. Magical darkness. Okay. Um. Can I do? I I'm going to use my action to uh, activate my stealth module and go invisible. That's what we're gonna do. Can't target what you can't see. Invisible, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, anything else, Danny? Nope. That's uh, movement action. Actually, yes, I'm sorry. I will use my bonus action to uh, activate my armor so I can get some temp HP and then I'll be done. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't like the fungies hiding in this statue. Welcome back, I'm Major. How are you doing? <laughs> I feel like I know how you're going to take care of that. I don't want you to. Where uh, is bonus I section? am just going to in armor? a yeah. nice little storm sphere. What's the... Oh, God. Okay, so there's that. I've been lagging out, so if you can hear me, please speak up. I don't we we can hear you. All right. In that case, I only briefly apologize. And Storm Sphere display. So when it appears, can I get a strength save, please? Yes. This isn't going to hit the dude inside because he's protected from the, the top of the statue. So I think this is just going to hit the statue. Oh, so does he have like full cover inside the statue? Or how does it work? He's really vague about that, which I hate. I'll leave but it from, what, from what I understand, he's standing in the head of it. Firing through the mouth that has the head to cover him. Hmm. Okay. If you say he's protected, then he's protected. That said, how does that work with the bonus action lightning bolt then? Is he quote unquote in the sphere or not in the sphere for what's the this statue of made of a uh, marble
No, sorry, just plain old stone. I guess marble is a stone. Yeah, marble. Okay, I'll assume I don't have advantage and shoot at him. Go for it. It's not an attack. It's an AoE. It should affect them. And, you know, it doesn't. Uh, 15 is not going to hit. Are you saying that's what it says in the... Uh, okay, guess I'm done. In the Strahd module. Three-quarter cover. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Nora's going to try and uh, break the legs on the statue and, and try to knock it over. Now I get to look up statue stats of five of them. Because that's the thing keeping up. Nine year old. Statue stats. Attacking it recklessly, of course. Yeah, I got nothing for statue stats. Um, off the top of my head, I believe certain materials have a like a set AC and then some you hit points to go with. Right. I just can't remember what book that is probably the DMG. Let's be honest. If Curse of Strahd doesn't give stats for the statue. Beyond this is time to be slow. Uh, make all your attacks now while I struggle with beyond. Fair. I found, uh, yeah, it's under objects, so statistics for objects. All right. St uh, stone, 17 stone AC. 17 AC. But it's large, so it, I think it gets a lot of hit points. Yeah, so the 21 will hit. It might even be huge, I guess. Sorry, Beyond has crashed my browser, so I'm waiting for that. Uh, so I'm actually reading. It may be useless. If, uh, if, you, if you determine it's huge, normal weapons are of little use against any huge and gargantuan objects, such as yeah, a colossal uh, statue. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's not effective. All right, I learned my lesson. Uh, end of turn. <laughs> Cass is going to... Ooh, this is just a bad position to be in. So Cass is going to... Oh, this is terrible. Whatever it is has cover. Cass can't do much. So I guess I'm just going to have to try to heal myself because that's stung. So Cass is just going to scream out in 
under common a healing word at herself. And then she, for her action, she'll have to dodge until the thing shows up. Okay. And that's uh, that. Cool. Wait, there's a button I can click. Alright, I will now click my heels together. No, just no place like, I'm gonna go run up in its face. Well, there anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Cicero. Okay, give me a second. I don't think I have any spells. I can healing word griddle from here. I wouldn't disagree with it. I wouldn't disagree with it either. I'm going to have to take harsh measures if a uh, griddle keeps flying towards me. Oof, that is a really sad roll. <laughs> okay. um, that's really all I can do. Wait, I thought you said it was a little boy. That does not say little boy's turn. What are you talking about? I don't know. Nothing. Riddle. Yeah. This may be uh, pushing my luck a little bit. Give me a wisdom save. <laughs> really? Just to check. It can see us, but we can't see it. It can see you. You can't see it. I oh, heard Flash of Genius. What does that put Gretel's? It's five. It's about eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. That's the same. Versus what spell? Do I have to tell you? I mean, you cast a spell, but don't we know what the effect is? is there Fair a enough, it was half effect. It was or... old monster. Isn't that concentration? Yeah. So, are they concentrating on the magical darkness? It doesn't say they are. It's probably just an innate thing that's there. All right. Uh, Stone it. Um. Tony, it's still invisible. I need to check because this is the lesser invisibility. Um, creature invisible spell ends if he attacks or casts a spell. So I'm gonna move this way. And 
drink a potion from my inventory. And I'll be done. Okay. Okay, let us see now. Uh, this thing has made me mad, so we're going to run this way. And let me check the wording on this. Alright, so it's before I cast the spell. I'm going to fly ten feet this way. And I'm just going to shoot a nice salty lightning bolt directly into the mouth there. Lightning bolt directly into the mouth. I like it. Yeah. Chaos. Can you? Because it says towards a creature you can see. For a lightning bolt? Or storm sphere. No, it, the spell lightning bolt. Oh, okay. This is the line version. Yeah, it's just a line into the back of the throat. Uh, he so... passes. Is he, is he also taking that nine? So yes, the nine is the necrotic damage from my lovely form. Necrotic. You didn't tell me to be multiple types. Uh, okay. All right. So he takes he, a total of 16 damage. I love it. And then if I still can't see him, I'll just be like, How can someone it? rip him out of there, please? That would be very nice. And I'll be done. I'm three feet tall. How am I going to get it? Indeed, ripping him out of there is the plan. Okay. So I guess having lost my rage, uh, the first thing I'll do is rage once again, uh, angry that I cannot <laughs> break the statue, and then uh, use the instinctive pounce and my movement. Uh, it should give me a total of 60, and I would like to try to climb. Uh, hopefully that 30 feet will get me in range uh, of, the, of the mouth. Yeah, uh, you able? You're able to sort of climb that thirty feet up, so you're ten feet away from the mouth of this. E B and J. It's been a while. Hi, how are you? Oh, that's unfortunate. Then I'll have to dash uh, to get close enough, and uh, that would uh, unfortunately be you're my turn. Pitch. You're in total blackness. You cannot see. Also, it's not a storm sphere. Yes. I would like to throw a healing word at Sir Stony Tark. Um, is he still invisible? I am still invisible. Boo. Okay, then I will have to throw a healing word at Gretel. Gretel will get... Eleven. And... I unfortunately can't do that, Kendall. Um, and for wow. my action, I'm just going to pop my spores. I might as well have them out because I could use the bonus HP. And that will be it. Yay. I will run up here and climb next to Nora up the statue. And then it can eat the 15 foot of bubble of uh, Spirit Guardian fun. How how far up have you did you get up on that statue, Grandel? I have fifty feet movement. Actually, I technically have seventy five right now. Sorry. 
So I moved up 25 feet and then I had to climb, I assumed another 25 feet and that's kind of where I stopped. Cause I think it was 30 feet tall. Okay, and how high up is Nora right now? I think about the same. Yeah, I, I'm right it, it, at the mouth. Feet up, yeah. Oh, I pulled my sword out too, crud. Sorry, I guess I didn't say that. Because uh, I was going to ask if any of y'all wanted to be polymorphed, but since you're already up there. Really? Uh. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll level one healing ward, Nora. Oh, I, I, I can be down here. I think I might be in the darkness, right? Oh, are you? Yes, no reason. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> I got nothing here. Uh, I guess no. no. Gotta do something. Yeah, I gotta do something. I guess I, I could polymorph myself. Yeah. So uh, I'll poly my polymorph myself into a, a brontosaurus. And uh, that'll be my turn for now. Well, my bro just more slows in. I am going to do something. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool. So wisdom seven. Take six radiant, and you know, I'm starting to get real tired of that barbarian. No worry. Hello. Make a con save. Oh my. Oh wow. Didn't see that coming. Oh! Oh! Unnecessary. Very unnecessary, but quite fun. As I don't think I could have hit anyone else with that. And still have to move. Probably true. Uh, yeah. 
That's gonna be his turn. Stony. Um. We can get away from this dinosaur and move over to here. So like, if I understand this right, there's a hole. So their line of yeah. sight is kind of limited to like this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to run in. And uh, my invisibility will go away because I'm going to cast a spell. Yep. Uh, I am going to be putting some healing on the Nora. And you see Nora. I'm standing adjacent to them. I'd imagine uh, since Nora Cure Wounds, is standing in the magical darkness. Cure Wounds doesn't require sight. I can reach up and touch them. Yes. They're 40 feet in the air. Killing me. <laughs> well then, that is not an option. I okay, fuck it. We're just going to fire twice into the darkness. Sure. Bang, bang. I'm assuming disadvantage Maybe. or yep, so well, no, my first sure. shot would be advantage because I wasn't seen either. Or, so that would just uh, be straight 21. No, no, because he has true sight. So 16, I'm guessing, is a miss. 16 is a miss. And then seven's a miss. And then I spend the rest of my movement going back outside of his range vision. I'll be done. All right. All right, then. I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, and yes, we will fire off a nice little, this, yes, Ray of Proust. What the? That's odd. I don't know what's happening. Well, Quinty suddenly become very laggy for me. I think mean, Quinty is just my computer. Yeah. I just don't know what's going on there. Oh, good. Twenty five minutes. So that's, I assume, two cold and nine necrotic. Good, good. So let's see if you're right. Yep. Yay. And then his speed is reduced by 10 for when he's eventually ripped out of his pidey hole. And boom. Okay. Well, if I understand correctly uh a grapple being an attack i would have disadvantage but then uh raging i would have advantage on a strength skill check yes yes oops all right well nine's probably not going to be <laughs> so i will try once again Fifteen. It's automatically rolling. Yeah. Well, you grappled in the second time. All right. Then I will uh, drop them off the side of the statue. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You will watch as Nora chucks out this fox-looking guy.
I was then going to jump off, but I think I'm going to um, slowly climb down, uh, probably about <laughs> 20 feet. And uh, and that's <laughs> Your target has been revealed. I can see it, and I'm going to use my favorite spell on it. No. Not the moon. No, that's my favorite spell. Oh, that is a nasty spell. I love light. What I'm saying is it's possibly the worst save it's got. Still made it. 17 necrotic. 17 necrotic. Cast goes over there and boom! And that's, uh, then I will just click yonder button. Uh, I'm going to give him a hug. I will climb down. And then I will swipe at him with the blade. Why not? Seems like a thing. Four, four, eighteen. Is that? Uh, I don't. I don't know what it is, but sure. How do you not know what this is? This is your sheet. No, no. I. Well, fair enough. I'm just rolling the. Thing. It does that against undead and something. Oh, the blessed strikes. Ah, never mind. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. So seventeen. Correct. Okay. Anything else, Gretel? Uh, nope. My turn. All right, Cicero. Okay. I'm just gonna come stomping out this way. I thought you were a dinosaur for a minute there. <laughs> and then I'm uh, I'm gonna stomp. So it's gonna. You have access to the sheet. Oh, do I? Oh, I didn't see that. Mom, I'm, I'm assuming that hits, so. though. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna roll 20, load the sheet in. There we go. This right. Mm -hmm. You stomp on this guy and he just sort of poofs out of existence. Kind of just puffs. <laughs> I walk up and kind of Look at him with my toe. Is it? Is it dead? Well, it's a fiend, so it disappears back to his own plane. Katiel's just gonna walk up with her one currently black eye and just go. Oh wow, you're very tall right now. May I? Katya will move to pet the dinosaur like Jurassic Park. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> and eventually, her 
edgy self will go away and return. So, um... What now? Should we be concerned about that? And I'll point to the skull. You see these flame skulls just sort of hitting about uh, up and down this hallway. Sometimes disappearing for a stretch, sometimes coming back. But they're not concerned with us? They don't seem to be. Good. Let's just avoid them if we can help it. Seems like... It just seems like it's not going to be fun. You do see... That the bottom flame skull... Behind the bottom flame skull seems to be a charred corpse. Uh, under a burned fur cloak. <sighs> hmm. Well, um... If we're not gonna go that way, which way are we going? I I think we should go that way, and if they come near us, I'll just pull the old, you know, holy symbol, and they'll probably go away. I think if there's a body over there, then we do have to go that way. Yes. Oh, I don't want to. I don't Bear want to. Bear with me a second. I don't know why Roll20 did it this way. Uh, let me see if I can see anything over. We'll check out. Uh, stop the neck at you. Oh. Get back to the group. Oh, okay. I don't know why Roll20 did it this way. Oh, I see. What are we this, is, this is where we actually are. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Flame skulls? What flame skulls? I don't see nothing. Yeah, they're on the upper floor. Yeah, I was curious. I mean, I uh, you do get some loot from the fox demon thing. The Arcana uh, Loft? The Arcana Loft, yes. A spell book, which I don't think any of you can use. Nope. And a robe of useful items. Ah, oh, so <laughs> useful. Well, Cass, you said you wanted a uh, magic item, right? So This is now an unboxing channel. Go ahead, Cass. Oof. Wait, what did I just get? A robe of useful items. Oh, a robe of, use, a robe of useful items. It's not very useful. You'll find the actual items at the bottom of the handout. The robe has two of each of the following patches. Uh, oh, you're saying you changed them? No, you get the two of each following, and then you get the ones at the bottom. <sighs> okay, this will be nice. This will be nice. I, I can get you set of this. A pit? <laughs> you never know when you need a pit for something. Eight pits so much. Or a robot. Maybe you should use the robot and the pit at the same time. Seems like a thing. Put down the pit. Someone falls in it. Then we chuck the robot, the iron door, the wooden ladder, and the riding horse <laughs> on top of them. 
and the Mastiffs. Yeah, no way. And yeah. The then they're trapped in a pit, crushed by a bunch of junk, and there's angry animals fighting them. And then finally, you use the spell scroll of Moonbeam to finish them off. Yep. <laughs> it's just a whole... <laughs> and then, yeah, we make it to the death pit. Moonbeam with the whole nine. We and just beat Strahd. Damage webs, so yay. That's just a Where Looney Tune death. <laughs> Where would you guys like to go at this point? Uh, so, th so there's nowhere on this level that we can go, right? Like, I'm assuming that this and that, those are areas above us. What? No. These... Are, you on this, are you on the same level as the rest of us? Because I did... put everyone on the temple lower. You did not tell me we moved the map. We moved the map. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so then there's a door here. There's an open door there with a bunch of stuff. You said stuff. Stuff. Yeah, there's there's stuff. There's like broken stuff. Let's go look at the broken stuff. I mean, I see a sword. If nothing else, that could be useful. You gonna go in that room, Stony? The minute you walk into the room, the locals get a bit uh, annoyed. Oh, hmm. well, they have no reason to be annoyed. Has uh, it been ten minutes? Probably not, oh. right? Cool. I'm still yeah. inspired. So uh, the ghosts pop up. I'm just gonna throw up my hands. Oh! And I'm gonna try to turn around and walk out. Not in your life. Okay. They rolled a three. Do we win? Right. I knew I was forgetting something. Right, I think that's all of you. Uh, or... I was messing with Stony. All right, I'm gonna squeeze past everybody into the room and uh, towards this first uh, interesting fella here, and uh, I think you know the deal. Uh, Reckless great weapon master at the at it, uh, but I'm not raging because I'm gonna hopefully hopefully save him for later. What the fuck? Gretel, well, Gretel called it, yeah. So thirty. Okay, hear me out. Do poltergeists need a head to survive? No, I would imagine they just take the whatever massive amounts of damage they take. Yeah, what's the massive amount of damage? Let's get that. Cool. Oh. Thank you. So, fun fact, uh, the massive amount of damage kills them on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah I meant Abu. Sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't think I have enough movement left to reach another one, but uh, that'll be me. So, Stony, uh, his initial reaction was to, you know, hands up, you know, 
but uh, seeing that they are definitely hostile, uh, I'm just gonna do the rational thing and pull out my pistol and fire it twice at the closest one. Bang! Bang, bang! bang. It's... Uh... Both hit. Total of 23. Then I'm going to duck past everyone else and hide around the corner. All right, all right, all right. Uh, 11, 12, 23, dead. Bridal. That's Nora, done. you need to be fighting for much, much longer. Here. Take this. It'll help you along your way. Yes, it will. What's a regrowth? I've never heard of that. Or I just being dumb? That's not a real spell. Yeah, no, that's, that's not, not a real spell. spell. You enabled homebrew well, on your DDB sheet. That'll be a thing. And then hold on a second. Sorry. Homebrew. I, did, I it was already enabled on my stuff. It was like an, it's the same thing as a uh, cure wounds for me. The second level slot that does forty ten healing. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Wait, a second level slot that does forty ten healing? No, it does the forty ten off of my fourth level, my second level. It's homebrew, so it doesn't matter. Nora gets 36 back from Kill Wounds. Greta, do you want to turn on Deb? Uh, I'm going to just move over there. And then I, yeah, I'm just turn. Boring. Katiel. All right, you ready for me to be completely useless? I am. I think I'm going to go ahead. We'll move on in. And I'm going to ask this lovely gentleman over here to make me a strength save as I will lightning lure him. Strength save. So it is just the fifteen feet movement. Uh, fifteen feet, and if he ends up next to me, which he should, he will take eight lightning, which I assume gets reduced because it is dumb. And let me see something again, because things are things whenever I start casting a spell. So this gentleman over here is also going to take two points of lightning damage that's already halved. And yeah, be done. X. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, oh, I can see something in that room, but am I close enough to do anything about it? I guess I am, but it probably won't be good. Uh... Nope. I knew it wouldn't be. Yikes. I mean, eh, it didn't work, so that's pretty much all I got. I'm out. Yeah. 
All right, Cicero. Oh dear, everything just crashed on him. Well, that's not good. Uh, I suppose skip Cicero for now and come back later. Unless someone else wants to play a dinosaur for a tiny little bit. And try and squeeze into that room. Okay. The poltergeists. Didn't actually think I'd get to. Very excited. Cat you. Not Katia, Nora. Quit bullying Nora. Actually, no, I'm not doing Nora. I just read it. Not doing that. No, now do it. And Nora, can I get a strength check? Check, please. As I contest with charisma. Uh, just a strength check, you say? Just a strength check. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Nora goes flying. Uh, well, there, I suppose. Or are you bludgeoning? The strongest poltergeist in the world. Uh, this one's just going to come in and slam Gretel. What is that? What? <laughs> that seemed unnecessary. <laughs> it's the R2 monsters are doing... I... Well, they're not doing more than the Arcana lot, but... They're doing bits. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Who was that at? That's at Gretel. Okay. Uh, Cicero, welcome back. I'm, uh, I'm still trying to load in the world to win and give me a second. I told you I heard a fan. I do hear it now. Yeah, my mic wasn't even transmitting. It's not me. Look, you were asked, do you hear a fan? I heard a fan, so I said yes. It's it's synth biking. Their mic is fuzzy when they talk. Is, is it it's mine? It uh, It's not, like, terrible. It's, like, quiet in the background. But I heard a fan. And so when you asked, does anyone hear a fan, I said yes. It was also two hours ago. Like It was also two hours ago. Whose who's turn is it? It's Cicero's. Uh, well, I can I cannot get in there. <laughs> squeeze. I, I'm too big. You can't even squeeze. Squeeze needs to be three squares. Yeah. Maybe if you guys lure, lure them out, I can get in there. I can hit them. So, sorry, you're just going to wait to see if you can hit someone? Yeah, I'll just I'll just hold an action until I see the whites of their eyes. Nora, you should rage. He just hit you. Nah, nah, it's okay. I I understand uh, that th this is why we have to put our ancestors to proper rest. They get angry like this. Um, now she'll she'll just approach the one that pushed her back and uh, try to do just that. Put it to rest. Are all these guys even your ancestors? He's dead. All right, and move up for the next one. Oh my! Hey, do you want to go ahead and roll that? Uh, yeah. It's the compact. He 
You see, oh my. my friends, this this is what happens when we don't uh, deal with our ancestors properly and show them the proper respects. Uh, you look around the room after, after the fight, you don't actually find anything of worth. It seems this was once a treasury, but has since been looted. Ah. All right. Good stuff. Turn around in, uh, I guess, store number two? Or number two. I'll open it up this time. Hang on. Oh. Why are you telling me this? Right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you know, in most IV things, like, w we can see that dot. Isn't a dotted door a locked door? Yes. So, can I try to pick the lock? What if it's just open? All right, I guess the door is open. Now it's locked. It appears to be locked, would you? Uh, unfortunately, Stony, it is not a pickable lock, I believe. It doesn't give me a DC for it because it's locked with a spell. Uh, dun dun dun. Does anyone have to spell magic? I do. <laughs> you want to dispel this arcane lock? Sure. Can somebody guide me, perhaps? Aren't you the guidance guy? I. Oh, yeah. You can still, I forgot. I, I for a reason. Never mind. Yes, I guidance myself. That did not roll. Okay, dispel magic. It's a second level spell, so it automatically goes away. Push the door open. It opens. And you see, you know, several things, Stony. Several things? You see treasure, piles of it heaped against the east and west walls of this Woo! room. You see a ten foot statue carved yeah. from amber in the likeness of a hawk headed humanoid standing in a wide alcove to the north. Behind it, you see cracks in the walls. Well, uh, that's interesting and all, but I have a pile of treasure I need to Scrooge McDuck. And the minute you Scrooge McDuck... Oh. The golem wakes up. Oh, no. Oh. Golem. Oh, archive. So that's the thing. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at him. He's wonderful. He doesn't look that tough. He's brazen. Bronze. Never mind. I don't think Amber's hard enough to stop bullets. I'm not concerned. Let me show us what you got. Oh, I'm up first, huh? Uh. Well, I mean, there's probably bullets that I could fire at him and all, but uh, I could. He also doesn't look to, to have any ranged attacks, being a big old fisty golem. I do this, Danny. So I, I think the best course of action is just to keep him in place so that uh, we can loot this room safely, right? Guess who's got advantage, advantage, advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, that'll do it. Uh, things how it is not trapped in the web, I am going to unscrooge McDuck myself and hide behind the other wall. 
the high bonus action. Wait, goblins can't do that. It's just disengaging. Okay. Never yep. mind, I'm done. Okay. Click the button. Yeah, you didn't start the tracker. Oh, sorry. The Brontosaurus known as Cicero. Well, uh, well, do what I do best. I will hold a, a, a smack in. Something pops its head out of it. <laughs> Just nobody go in the room. It'll come out eventually, right? Exactly. Mm, no. I mean, it's a strategy. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll, I'll see what the dinosaur's doing, and I'll, I'll try to uh, hold an attack. See if it comes outside. Uh, Golem is going to come sprinting out. Yeah. Oh no! What's the Brontosaurus's range? Does they have yeah. like reach? I'm going to assume twenty foot. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it with a tail. Watch the tail. It's weapon time. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that's that, that tail just slams into this charging statue. Very mm. sudden damage. Oh, Give me the wrong that's house. a lot of damage. Uh, Nora. And Nora. Nora. Oh yeah, I can. I guess I can see about half of it. Can I attack it? Yeah. I mean, if you roll another crit, I'm gonna be upset. But seventeen hits for six twenty-six. And then I'm going to. I can see all of you but Stony. Because I'm smart. That's interesting. Can I get everyone but Stony to make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh, what's it? Is this against a magical effect? Technically, no. Uh, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Nora, I don't think I can save you, but maybe I can save Gretel. Gretel's gonna get a flash. Oh, Casco, why? Gretel's still gonna get the flash. He's the healer. Cicero, <laughs> would your regular wisdom be better than that? Because you keep your mental stats. Oh, not okay, in a polymorph, okay. you don't. Uh, oh, not okay. in polymorph, you don't. Never mind. What do I know? I don't play spellcasters anymore. <clears throat> don't you have a max level druid? I have a max, I have a max level druid cleric wizard. But I play. My max level barbarian only these days. All right, so the Brontosaurus, Catiel, and the Nora have all been slowed. <laughs> Does the Amber Golem have to concentrate on the slow? No. That's for one minute. Oh, yuck. Beautiful, isn't it? Kinda. Alright, Catiel. Is it going to be an action or a bonus action? Uh, it'll be an action. Thankfully, it's not the spell slow, or I would absolutely be ruined. So... Of course, yeah, you have to roll a d20 for that. So, I think I'm just going to try and take its reaction away because I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. And... Is it bad when you said it, when you said I'm going to take his reaction away, I thought, oh yeah, they're going to move away. I get to smack him. So that will be 20 points of damage, and then I'll just. Eh. 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 Now I'll make another wisdom save. 
No. All right. Griddle. Right. We use. No, you weren't slowed there, Griddle. Flash can fast. It's true. It's Nora and Cicero who are the other two. Um. Well, I, uh... Wait, Cicero wouldn't be slowed because he's not within 10 feet of the golem. So it's just... Oh. Can't kill, um... So it's just Nora. It can't kill. So it's just Cassiel and Nora, like I said. Ooh. You can't slow the barbarian. Not cool. There's no place like... Make a dex save. Why? Oh. That's annoying. Uh, it takes 22 radiant damage. That's dumb. I don't like that. <laughs> See. Um, and then I guess I will just stay where I am and act like a shield. Actually, I'm going to step over this way and act like a shield wall to hold it in place. Hey, are you going to press the button? I don't see a button. I keep forgetting. Yes. Okay, uh, Cass is just going to have some fun with another spell she really likes. Just in the room. Do you? I don't like you lot. You're bullying my golem with deck saves. Uh, he passes, so 15? Yep. Yeah, 15, and that's all I got. Boom. Yes. Uh, bonus action hide. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Oh, all right. So I'm not hidden. Uh, nope. I wear heavy armor. I'm going to roll out, uh, and then from bringing up. From the roll, I'm going to point my pistol and fire. Bang, bang. Ooh, not three times. Two times. Oh. Uh, the 13? We're going to use that bardic inspiration that was given. What I can only assume was within 10 minutes ago? Uh, yeah, you can use that. Is it D8 or D10 by now? All right, I guess it's D8. Hey. Did that hit? 18 hits. That's a... Uh, 18, but whatever. Um, so 13 damage, and then we'll also attack on Fury the Small. Extra eight. Yep, 21 total. And then I'll be done. It's a resource. Second verse, same as the first. We'll smack. Or not. So unfortunate that won't hit. Right you, there. you Brontosaurus get a multi attack? No. Uh, no. Uh, I don't believe. So no. Well, I've done all I can do. <laughs> Nora. I'm going to uh recklessly attack at once. I'm going to do hits and we'll kill it.
Hey, do you have a soundtrack that's from in the hit game Final Fantasy? Uh, if it's dead, I'm gonna promptly yeah. re Scrooge McDuck myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as Stony dives almost in slow motion towards the gold in front of him. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. No! <gasps> What's in the gold? Do, 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 do. I'll, I'll, I'll get you a full list because there is a lot. It's just a bunch of hoard golems from Cobalt Press. Right. I don't, you know, I don't know how much it matters. We definitely can't Okay, so these piles are like 10 foot squares. So, yeah. if you think about how many coins would make a 10 foot diameter pile of wealth, I don't think we can conceivably carry it all. You have a bag of holding. Wait, <laughs> is this the group that has the bag of holding? Was that the other uh, group? That was the other group. I don't oh, no. have a bag of holding. Maybe there's a bag of holding within the piles? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's mm -hmm. that right there? That bag looks like it has a face on it. Yeah? Can can Stony make a bag of holding? Question mark? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I was about to give you extra loot. Make yourself a bag of holding. Why do I have to use a, a class feature? On something that you were about to give us anyway. Because I forgot even, you could do that. Even a bag of holding probably won't carry all of it. I wanted you to I wanted to trick you into giving me one and then make a second one so we could definitely carry it all. <laughs> and yeah, you're not gonna be able to carry this all in one bag, so sure. Alright. So uh here's the plan, right? While we inventory all this stuff uh throw up the the tiny hut we'll take a rest i'll throw i'll get a bag of holding and then uh we'll just gotta scoop it all in we're taking it all <laughs> sounds like a plan to me right. also sounds like we should sit and reflect on this you'd like, pay, you'd, then, you'd like to direct your gaze to the discord chat oh my Problem with this is the people watching will have no idea. So let's put that in a handout and get it onto okay. the screen. Yeah. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, I got it. That's fine. That's a lot of cheddar. That's a, lot that's of a whole lot. Oh no. Where did I put the bank of holding? Oh, oh you one. did. So we're going to prioritize the Electrum pieces, right? That's a whole lot of Electrum. I mean, I say we take the Electrum pieces and go throw them in a, you know... And this is well, truly somewhere. how you know Strahd is evil. He's it's our Forge Electrum player, goddammit! Like, every, God. every, every party needs at least one Forge cleric so they can transmute all of the copper, Electrum, and gold into Platinum pieces so it weighs less. <laughs> I was too busy keeping everybody alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Three suits of plate. Oh, that's worthless. Worthless. Yeah, plate would have been nice. A child-sized sarcophagus made of black wood. Uh, no, no, I want you to carry this. It's my new bed. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. Very well. I'm carrying everything anyways. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm sure I can fashion some straps to it. We'll we'll use it as a makeshift backpack, and then uh, when we break camp for the night, we can set it all out, and then uh, I can sleep in the nice cushioned sarcophagus. I see no problem with any of this. We'll be sure to nail it shut while you sleep. I mean, you can if you want, but just take the hinges off. Um, there's a. It's like I don't think there's anything. Legit useful, it's just a ton of wealth. Yeah, it does seem that way. Well, uh, so I guess while we're, we're inventorying all of this during the long rest, uh, Stony is taking that bronze crown, any rings, necklaces, I'm gonna get kitted out 
like a nineties rapper. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just imagining a blinged out goblin. Like like a with like a grill and like rings. Yep, it's out just every well not well, not just a necklace, like necklaces so thick they actually like rise up off of your neck. <laughs> One of those has to be a clock. Two rings right? on every on every finger. <laughs> what's that? What's that um, common thing you can like get a net ten or whatever? You have to like make one of those into a, a like a necklace thing. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll fashion. Uh, let's see, like a, 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 one of the helms, right? To a necklace, like a flavor flavored clock instead. Wait, isn't there an out? Isn't there a legit hourglass somewhere in here? There we go. I'm a... <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh my god. We'll, we'll melt down some of the gold coins so I can cap a couple teeth. Yeah, we're doing it. Like... My absolute favorite part of this list, right? 30 holy symbols of gods from different different worlds. Just, oh, what do I do with all of these? Yeah, we'll just chuck I mean, them in the room here. And then you just sort of become that guy from the 1999 mummy. That was yeah. just what I was about to say. Just like, <laughs> hey. which one? Which one? Which one? This one? This one? This one? <laughs> just in different languages until ah, uh, oh thank God. See, that, that's gonna be my next West Marches character. It's just gonna be a cleric this with all these holy thing. symbols, sage background, just like this language. No, this language. Yes, yeah. this language. Right. Like whenever you see vampires or undead, you just start pulling out little coins. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, now the real question is, will you always be on the wrong side of the river? To be honest. Oh man. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. And hopefully, I see you on Saturday for Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Everyone. <laughs>